from Worcester. It's so nice to wake up to a sunny morning after yesterday's downpour. My clothes are still wet, including my waterproof gloves, which are not so waterproof after a while. <laughs> so I'm going to try to dry out as I go this morning in the sun. Um, yeah, and see how far we get today. <laughs> what a beautiful day. What a beautiful little bridge and lock. That's so cool. I've also been meaning to share this for those of you not in the UK. This is the sign postage for the National Cycle Route, which is just incredible. There's just a whole cycle route around the whole country with different routes that go all over the place. And much of the route I'm using to ride from Land's End to John O'Groats is following various national cycle routes, which take you through a mix of country lanes and bike paths and canal paths, and sometimes on roads when you have to intersect between the two, but they're so well signposted. So it's really cool. Okay, well, the route I'm following takes me along this canal and get an up-close view of these beautiful old locks. So cool. What a gorgeous day. Oh, this is some of the most gorgeous underbridge graffiti art I've seen. This is incredible. I've been just watching this boat use one of the locks. This is so cool. Oh, that's just so cool that this has been in use for so many years and still going strong. All right, well, I've just come through this tunnel and check this out. What a cool place to live. Also, this has just been the most incredible canal path. Um, lots of people and it was quite muddy <laughs> so I'm a bit of a muddy mess all over like my back especially um, but man that was really fun <laughs> ah. this is Kinver just pause to get a feel for where I am <laughs> for a soup. Getting chilly. I think I'm going to put my leg warmers on, but it's been so nice to have a sunny day.
beautiful good morning from Nantwich, England. You can see I'm wearing some warmer weather gear this morning as the temperatures are starting to drop. And I've also noticed that the sunset is getting earlier. I checked and it was about 30 minutes earlier here than it was when I started in Land's End and Penzance, which is kind of crazy. Um, I, at some point yesterday, apparently crossed into northern England where the rivers start flowing north into the Irish Sea instead of south, which is kind of exciting. And I also decided to go ahead and book myself the next couple of nights um, because I know that the availability of accommodation, especially the lower cost hostels and such, is um, going to start to get more limited as I get farther north um, and into Scotland. So. Today I will be hopefully going to Garstang and then the next day into Penrith where there's quite a, I don't know, iconic, famous hostel where a lot of cyclists stop when they're doing this journey. So I'm excited to stay there. <laughs> I got the last room available, which was kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for me this morning. It's a beautiful scene, just a, another gorgeous old village city center apparently this is a uh, floral city award-winning floral town all right let me get going of duck before. Very cute. derailleur into a fail-safe mode again when I was just pulling the bike through one of the barriers on this towpath I'm riding and this time I have been trained I've taken photos of how to fix this situation but I can't seem to do it so fortunately I'm not far from a bike shop so I'm gonna just go <laughs> and have someone show me again <laughs> this is the annoying little barrier that I did something to my derailleur on the last time I went through. <laughs> There's like a million of these on this path. Well, we are back in business thanks to a very kind bike shop owner at Gearing Up here in I don't even know where I am. So I will figure that out and put it in the text <laughs> below. Um, but yeah, and both of us learned, I relearned how to get my bike out of fail safe mode. So that is great. Yay, easy fix, easy win on the way. <laughs> just been an entire day of trails and canals. 
most of the trails have been much muddier than this and I am <laughs> the bike and I are both like covered in mud <laughs> but this has just been stunning.